Jasmine, aka at the Curly Top, and welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time, welcome. So today we are going to make some DIY chunky rings, a jewelry tray, and a candle holder, and try to make them as natural as possible because these things are super cute. I see them all over my Pinterest feed, my TikTok feed, Instagram feed, and I think they're so dope. But what makes me really sad is that when you try to make them, a lot of the recipes call for like making them out of polymer clay, which is plastic and I'm trying to avoid as much plastic as I can in my life so I wanted to find a natural option so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. The recipe I'll be using for all these will be a salt dough clay. I saw this first on TikTok, but there's plenty of recipes online but I'm following hers because why not? <laughs> and so for the recipe you're gonna need natural food coloring that I have. This is for pre-dyeing the dough. I know that when you bake this, it's gonna come out like less vibrant than you want, but if you want a fully biodegradable ring, this is the way to go if you want a little bit of color in that. So I'm gonna just show you guys what that looks like using it. I also have some beads from uh, pieces of jewelry that I have broken or I thrifted and I wanna turn into something new. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to incorporate that into my rings, a cutting board, just so that you have like a nice flat surface to like roll and like make everything on and also I have my cute little puzzle mat here that I don't want to ruin and I don't want to break down the puzzle so that should help protect it a little bit. <laughs> and then I have a mixture of like different nail polishes. They're all natural ones. Um, so I'm thinking about when I'm done baking the rings, I'm gonna paint them with old nail polish that are natural brands because I like how it comes out with like a glossy coating. So I'm probably gonna do that. And it's a great way to be able to upcycle nail polishes that you haven't used in a long time. I think it would just be really fun at the end of it. So let's jump into the recipe. <laughs> Okay, so first you're gonna grab your bowl, pour in your half cup of flour, and then your quarter cup of salt and a quarter cup of water and mix it. So it should be like not super sticky. I added a little bit more flour to mine just because it felt a little too sticky, but if yours feels a little too dry, add a little bit more water and vice versa. And I repeated the process twice just because I feel like the candle holder that I wanna make is gonna require a lot of dough. So I just went ahead and prepped that. And so now I'm gonna prep the food coloring dyes that I'm gonna use. You could go ahead and skip this and just jump over to my sculpting section just so that if you aren't gonna do this, you don't have to. But if you are interested in how to dye your clay beforehand, I'm gonna go ahead and show you now. So I found this little diagram on Pinterest that helps you like make more vibrant colors called Bright and Bold. And I think I'm going to use the yellow, teal, and purple combinations and see how that turns out. Also in the process, I did add some more flour because I think the food coloring made it more wet. So I added more flour so it's not super sticky. But I'm gonna go ahead and start making my little clay rings. And so I made an entire secret Pinterest board. I can make it public if you guys want me to. Let me know down below. But yeah, there's like so many funky things. I might do like a cute like tie-dye one. And I wanna do a couple that have like beads in them, but I wanna make sure that the beads don't melt in the oven so I think I'm just gonna make indents for them and then glue them on later with some Gorilla Glue that I have. And I'll also be making my jewelry tray and the candle holder that I keep mentioning. Yeah, there's just like so much funky inspiration. I'm just gonna play around and see what happens. First I'll start off with this candle holder, but I like how just like, it just is this really cute blob. Candle stays up in it, and I think it's really cute. And then I have my jewelry holder, and it came out really cute. And I think it's gonna work super well with my jewelry. And I'm gonna go ahead and try on all the rings because what happens with the salt dough recipe is that it does end up shrinking in the oven, so some of these aren't gonna fit which I'm okay with. And then some of them I may have not shaped it properly so that it bakes weird. 
So I have like this cute like little fruit roll up. Should I be one which the color actually came out really sick on this, but it baked like an oval, so I can't I can't fit my fingers into this. So I'm sad about that. Again, if you want a fully biodegradable, completely natural ring and you want something a little pastel-y, you could just like stop here and enjoy a ring. But I think I'm gonna play around with some of the beads that I mentioned earlier and my nail polishes and just kind of craft it up. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> running out of daylight but these are coming out so cute i love them I did so many fun things with them i'll just do a little montage of all of them so you can see them in better lighting today i hope you enjoyed this is such a fun craft and crafting should just be a really awesome fun safe space for you don't worry about perfectionism just do what you want to do experiment try something new today and i hope you enjoyed i'll talk to you later bye